Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video and today we're going to be continuing the Act 5 series with Act 5.3.5, Force of Will. Now I've been making this Act 5 series for a few reasons. The first is to familiarize myself with Act 5 because I get a lot of questions regarding it and I completed it so long ago, it's sometimes hard for me to remember. And another reason is that I've got some friends who've just picked up playing the game, and a lot of newer players have been looking for some Act 5 content that, you know, is relevant to 2019. So what I'm doing with this series is I'm doing my best to, you know, kind of go through the past, go over the mobs, you know, the nodes, and what champs relevant to 2019 will work in Act 5. So the first thing that I want to do is go over this spreadsheet that I have here. Now this is a live um, or excuse me, not a live, but an active spreadsheet. So I can make adjustments to it as we go. Um, as you can see, I have the past labeled, or excuse me, um, divvied up so there are I did five pass for 5.3.5 um, it's got all the mobs that you will face and the ones that are noted what nodes they have now also if you take a look over here it, I have a description of all the nodes that you will find and also the boss with what he is linked with now there is also a map which you can go ahead and click on and download so that you can use it you know when you're trying to scout out your past who you think you should bring that sort of thing now there are not in this chapter excuse me but in other chapters there are some hidden champs and those ones will be visible on this map go ahead and download the map and use it to your advantage so that you can go ahead and scout out your past so you'll know who to bring and what you'll be facing now um, act 5.3.5 requires a diverse roster and the reason for that is the global node physical perfection where all classes except except skill uh, reduce their attack by 50 percent so there are also some keys so if we go ahead and take a look um, at the map there are some keys that you'll need to get through it um, there's one here you got a mutant <clears throat> where'd it go Oh, see, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? You've got a mutant key that you need to get through. So there are some keys that you'll need to obtain before you can complete those paths. Paths, excuse me. So let's go ahead and go over the paths. Now I have them labeled so you can go ahead and take a look at them, which ones you want to go down. And path one is by far the easiest path. Um, all the mobs are unnoted. So, so that works out in your favor. And you also don't need a key to get through it. So it's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and take a real quick look at the mobs that you'll face. Now you'll start out facing OG Thor. He's not too hard, remember, just bait out those special ones and don't get clipped at the end. King Groot, also not hard. Um, definitely try baiting out those special ones. Watch when he has his fury up that he doesn't, you know, shrug your parry and you go in and he starts hitting you in the face. Uh, and then we move on to Ghost Rider, is pretty easy fight. Don't really have to worry too much about that. And then we come down and we go through Vulture. Now, Vulture special one is much easier to dodge than his special two, so keep him at that. And we face Groot. Again, not a hard champ. Just try not to push him to his special two. You don't want, that's unblockable and you don't want him to get that regen. And then we move on over to Venom. And Venom can be kind of tricky. Bait out those special ones. Don't push him to his special two. He'll convert all those buffs that he has into Furies. So then we shoot on up through here and we go to Yondu. Now remember, Yondu can bleed you through your block. So try to bring someone that's a bleed immune champ like Korg. Korg will work out well here. And then we go through Unstoppable Colossus. Again, he's not a hard champ. Um, just don't hit into him when he's unstoppable. Now, unlike Juggy, you can parry and stun him when he's unstoppable. So go ahead, launch your parry, do one attack, and then back off while he's unstoppable. Uh, Civil Warrior, again, not a hard champ. Both his uh, specials are pretty easy to dodge. And then we go to Iron Fist. Not hard again, both specials, pretty easy to dodge. Then we come on through here to Doctor Strange. Now when he has his armor up, he's gonna take less damage. So keep that in mind when you're launching your specials. And be careful when he's got his power gain buff up. And then we go on through here to Angela. Now Angela removes Pessimist from the boss, which is um, Black Panther Civil War. And Angela, she's not a hard champ. And then we shoot on through down to Black Panther Civil War. Now, I'm not gonna go over path two right now because I have a video on that. So let's go ahead and move on over to path three. Now path three, it's really not that hard. Unfortunately though, you will have class disadvantage for the whole path once you take out Rocket and Thor Jane Foster here. And so you come on down here after you go through Rocket and Thor down to Archangel. Now be careful um, with Archangel. You don't want to get a neurotoxin placed on you. Otherwise, you're going to end up pretty dead pretty quick. <laughs> and then 
we move on down here, now you will need a mutant key to get through here to go ahead and face X-23. X-23, she's not hard. Um, I should note that from X-23 um, on to Colossus, all the champs have Fisher and Power Gain, so be careful of that. Both of X-23 specials, though, are pretty easy to dodge. And then we move on over to Nightcrawler. Now, Nightcrawler can be a giant pain in the butt because he's kind of difficult to fight when he is in, when he's not in swashbuckling mode. So if you can't, if you're not that great at switching him to swashbuckling, go ahead and bring someone that's, you know, kind of an anti-evasion champ, someone like uh, Black Widow. She's great. A high sig Black Widow would be good. Also Night Thrasher. Um, evasion champs can't evade his skateboard hit, so his medium hit. So go ahead and bring him in. He's another really good option for that. And then we move on over to Beast. Again, Beast isn't a hard uh, champ, though. He can stun you off his special one, so be careful of that. And then we shoot on over here and we go through OG Deadpool. Try to bait out OG Deadpool's special ones. Remember, he kind of constantly regenerates So the more, based on how much power he has. So the more power he has in his power bar, the more he's going to regenerate. So keep trying to bait out those special ones. And then we move on over to Colossus. And Colossus, he is... He's not too hard. Um, if you can bring in an armor break champ, that'll help you out a lot. And then we move on over to Iceman. Now Iceman can be kind of a pain in the butt because you do get that uh, cold snap on you. So be mindful of that. And we move on over to Cyclops. Not hard. Both his specials are pretty easy to dodge. Um, and then we move on to OG Iron Man. He's pretty easy. Now you will no longer have the class disadvantage once you get to Iron Man. So hooray for that. <laughs> And then we move on over to Scarlet Witch who unlinks Optimus from the boss. Now with Scarlet Witch, this is, can be kind of problematic because she will put a poison on you and she will heal block you. And there's not really a champ that's poison immune. Now you can bring in Black Widow, you know, someone with ability accuracy reduction. You can also um, bring in Killmonger with the void synergy to try to shrug that, but that's not always reliable. And we'll talk about that more uh, later on. So keep that in mind. You could also bring in a science champ, one that's poison immune, like Hulk, to help you get through that Scarlet Witch. And then we move on over to the boss. Now, path four, this one is pretty easy. Um, it may be the better bet for you if you have the skill key to get through it. Now, this this one does look like it's going to be hard because it has special lock one and specter. So if you have willpower on, once you get that little debuff on that your special locked one, the specter will reverse heal you. So you'll start to degen, which is not good. So you want to either not have willpower on <laughs> or just launch that special one as soon as you get it to prevent that little debuff from forming and you from getting heal blocked or not, excuse me, not heal blocked, reverse healed. So uh, I get like um, path Three, we go through Rocket and uh, Thor Jane Foster, and then we move on over to Agent Venom. Now, Agent Venom, he's not too hard. Just be careful that he doesn't shrug your, par shrug your parry with that tenacity. So maybe give it a little hot second before you go in and attack to make sure that your parry has fully stuck, or your stun rather. Then we move on over to Black Widow. Be careful of her evades. And then Winter Soldier, he's not hard. Bait out those special ones. They're much easier to dodge than the special twos. And then over to Falcon, push him to his special two. It's much easier to dodge than all the bullets that will be flying at you after his special one. And then we shoot on over here and we go through Punisher. Now with Punisher, you're gonna take a lot of block damage from both his specials regardless. So you'll take less from his special one versus his special two. Also keep in mind of his endure that he gets or that he has the potential to get, I should say, when it comes to 1% health. So bringing in someone with ability accuracy like Black Widow to prevent that or someone with a damage over time debuff after their special is going to help you out there. And then we move on over to um, OG Black Panther. Be careful of his bleeds. Both his specials are easy to dodge. And then on to Gwenpool. Now, you know, she can survive a special attack unless it's got a debuff attached to it. So, you know, be mindful of that. Don't think you've uh, killed her after you launch your special because she may get back up and start punching you in the face. It's happened to me quite a few times. And then on through Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, and on to the boss. So let's go ahead and take a look at path two that, excuse me, that I have a video for. Now, path two, all the mobs on here, they have spiked armor with the exception of OG, Thor, and Groot. They have spiked armor and cornered. So we'll get more into that once we get to those mobs. But for OG Thor, he's really not that hard. Again, just bait out those special ones. Don't get clipped at the end of it. Um, 
because you can get stunned and it's not a pleasant thing when that happens. Now, Hawkeye is actually great for this entire path because of the power drain off his special one. So just keep spamming those special ones. Um, he's actually better for path five, but once we go over path five, you'll see why. But overall, OG Thor, not a hard fight. So now we're moving on to King Groot and you know, you wanna watch King Groot with his furies that he doesn't shrug off your parry and start punching you in the face. Now, the cool little trick with King Groot is if you have willpower and he has his fury up, if you need to get a quick little heal, go ahead and let him clip you with the end of his special one because when he has his furies up, it'll put a permanent armor break on you, which will allow you to heal. So if you need to get a little quick heal up, like right here, it's a good way to do it. That last little bit doesn't really do that much damage. So, but overall, King Groot, not a hard fight. Try not to push him to his special two. It's not as, it's not as easy to punish, so to speak. Okay, so now the fun mobs with She-Hulk. Now She-Hulk has spiked armor and cornered. Now, for those of you that don't know, spiked armor is where you take damage off a critical hit. Crossbones is great for spiked armor because his hits don't crit. Anytime that he would crit, however, he gains a fury which increases his special. Now, because this has um, cornered on it, you don't wanna launch Crossbones special too because it will put an incinerate so they'll gain power. So definitely wanna keep launching either those special ones or his special threes, but Crossbones is great for spiked armor. Now I should also mind you that this is not a rank five, this is a 440 Crossbones, so he can do it easy peasy, um, no problem. So if you have a Crossbones, now's the time to bust him out. <laughs> Moving on to Luke Cage. Now Luke Cage, both of his specials are pretty easy to dodge. You don't really have to worry about the cornered on here um, because you're not gonna be able to put a bleed on him. So you don't really have to worry about that. The only thing you really need to worry about is the spiked armor. So um, definitely want to kind of play around his indestructible charge that he's gonna get or that he does get, I should say. You'll probably see it a couple times through this fight. Now these fights are, you know, they're gonna test your patience and they're gonna test your endurance, so keep keep in mind of that. Um, but overall, Luke Cage, really not hard. Sometimes his heavies can come out of nowhere for me, so just be mindful of that. But overall, Luke Cage, not a hard mob on this path. So now we're moving on to OG Hulk, and this guy can be kind of a pain in the butt because the lower in health he gets, the harder that he hits. So <laughs> keep that in mind. So when he starts to get pretty low health, he's gonna start hitting like a truck. Um, I prefer to bait out his special two over his special one. I think it's easier to dodge, but you know, to whichever your preference is, be careful if he does clip you on one of them, you can get stunned. So be mindful of that. Now, Gwenpool, Gwenpil, Gwenpool, excuse me, is another great option for this path because she can kind of bypass the sparked ar spiked armor if you get her hits up. So for every, um, she gains 2% ability accuracy reduction for every um, hit that she gets. So once you get up to 50 hits, it's 100%. So keep that in mind and you will get up to that 50 hits. <laughs> So, but keep that in mind. Again, Black Widow is a great option for this. Um, Crossbones again, and, and Gwenpool too. Gwenpool will also put the bleed on and put the stun on so you can just go ham. And plus also she gets Enervate off of her special too. And you'll see why that comes in handy later on. All right, so now a bomb and abomination can be kind of tricky here because you need a poison immune and I can't think of any skill champ that is poison immune off the top of my head. Now, Black Widow can bypass it if she's high ranked and has some good RNG, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> but both a bomb specials are pretty easy to dodge. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. And then you could also bring in Killmonger with the Void Synergy and Killmonger will be able to shrug <laughs> that poison with the Void Synergy. However, that 
isn't always 100% effective um, as you see right here. So Void and Killmonger is another option for this if you don't have a high ranked Black Widow. All right, so now we're moving on to Quake and Quake is pretty easy. The only thing you need to watch out for with Quake is that you don't get any Quake charges put on you. So when she's charging her heavy, she can put one on you. In order to kind of prevent them from stunning you, what you wanna do is right before that little timer is about to expire, you want to launch your special. So that will prevent you from being stunned. Also, try to push Quake to her special too. It's a lot easier to dodge than the special one. Sometimes, even if you block the special one, you'll still get the Quake charge on you. But her special two is much easier to, jo to dodge, excuse me. So try pushing her to her special two. Other than that, Quake is pretty easy. So now we're moving on to Spider-Gwen. And this one can be kind of a pain in the butt because she likes to evade. Now you definitely wanna to try to push her to her special two over her special one. For me, it's much easier to dodge than that special one ever since Kabam buffed her. <laughs> So, but you want to bring in, you know, an anti-evasion champ or an ability accuracy reduction like Black Widow or Falcon. Um, once you get the, the locked on with Falcon, it'll prevent the champs from um, evading. Now you can also bring in Night Thrasher. Night Thrasher is another good option for any evasion champ because they cannot evade his mediums, which are his skateboard hits. So all you want to do is launch or excuse me, just go with the mediums. Now, OG Spider-Man, you kind of want to do fight him the same way as you would fight Spider-Gwen. Now, if you don't have a high ranking Black Widow, Falcon or Night Thrasher, just stick to three hit combos and back away so that they don't evade and come back and start punching you in the face. Definitely push him to his special too, just like Spider-Gwen. It's much easier to dodge. Um, sometimes I just block the um, web shots and <laughs> then evade the punches, it's much easier. <laughs> All right, so now we're moving on to OG Cap. And OG Cap, he, this is another pretty easy fight. Um, this one might be a little bit longer, but definitely bait out those special ones over the special twos. If you're not great at dodging his special twos, um, what you wanna do for dodging his special twos is right before the shield is about to hit you, dash back and you will evade that special two just like that. So, but overall, OG Cap, this is a pretty easy fight here. Okay, so now we're moving on to Angela. Now, Angela removes Pessimist from Black Panther Civil War, the boss. And Angela, she's not a hard fight. This is just your pretty standard Angela fight. Anyone will work on this. So even if you want to have a champ that's going to put damage over time, one that crits, that's going to be great. But overall, Angela, she's not a hard champ to fight. Um, definitely try baiting out the special one over the special two. There's no projectile with the special one, so that's always a lot easier. Just remember that she's gonna start, she's gonna hit hard once she gets those two furies. So be mindful of that. But overall, Angela is pretty easy and this is just a standard Angela fight. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Black Panther boss. Now with this path, he still has Mystic Ward and Optimist. Now I used Gwenpool for this and she is not always the best option because of the stun that she can get. Remember, if Black Panther's got that little shield up and you stun him, it's gonna be the reflective stun and he's gonna come back and start punching you in the face and that is not good. So. You definitely don't wanna parry him when that is up. Black Panther can be tricky. Um, best way to do it is to try to bait out those heavies and go in and punish and punish all of his specials. Both his specials are pretty easy to dodge. I think his special two is easier than his special one, but that's just me. Um, but they're both easy to punish. Don't push him to his special three. It's not gonna end well. <laughs> Um, but overall, Black Panther's not a hard fight. It's just an annoying fight. You have to be patient and you don't want to just kind of rush into things and see I got clipped there with the stun and boy, oh boy, did that take a lot of health off. So now remember, Gwenpool can also activate the Enervate, which will come in handy on path five, which we'll go over in a bit. So, but overall, this Black Panther fight, it's not too hard. It's just, you know, a standard Black Panther fight, really. Just kind of got to be patient with it and don't try to go all balls to the wall. <laughs> so as you can see, Black Widow, she's another good option for this. Um, she does get the ability accuracy reduction, so don't have to worry too much about any of that. 
Um, Mystic Ward, you don't really have to worry about because you're not going to be using champs that really nullify, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, overall, though, this Black Panther fight, again, it's not too hard. It's just more or less annoying is what it is. <laughs> Okay, so now we've looked at path two. So let's go ahead and take a look at path five. Now path five, you start out right the gate with your noted boss, or excuse me, your noted mobs. You start out with Dormammu with cornered and power reserve and all the mobs on here have cornered and power reserve. So bringing Blade in with the danger sense is a great option for this. Remember, Blade does really well against, these, against Dormammu. So he's a really good option for this. Um, Hawkeye is really the MVP for this path because you can just spam your special ones and just keep power draining them over and over and over again. So you don't really have to worry about the power reserve or, you know, you may have to worry about the cornered when you put that bleed on them, but with Dormami, you don't have to worry about that so much. But overall, you know, Hawkeye's really good. Watch the degen on Dormammu. Um, now we're moving on to Starkey and Starkey is going to be chain throwing specials. Not quite as much as one of the other champs that you'll see, um, but he is going to evade. So keep that in mind. Bringing an anti-evasion uh, champ in here is always more beneficial to you. Um, you're definitely going to want to parry before you launch your specials with Starkey. Um, otherwise he will evade them and you'll launched your special and wasted it. So try not to do that. Um, and also he's going to be throwing his special twos a lot. So either get really good at evading it or be prepared to take a lot of blocked damage. Now I'm trying to bait out that special one, but he doesn't want to seem to throw it here. But overall, this fight is just, again, it's more or less a test of patience. You kind of can't be too aggressive with it. You got to be patient, got to bait out those specials and that sort of thing. So keep that in mind as you come in here. Now we're moving on to War Machine. And this guy, he loves to throw his specials. So try to push him to his special two with power reserved. It's not that hard to do. Um, his special two is much easier to dodge than his special one. If you can't push him to his special two, just you know block that special one. And you can see here, he is just chain throwing those specials. He threw a special two, threw the special one, and then threw the special one again. So be careful of that. He is super special happy. So bringing someone like Hawkeye to power drain him and keep him, you know, just, you know, excuse me, to keep him low on power is ideal. So keep that in mind that Hawkeye is great for this path, if not for this war machine. Now I did try to dex that to no evade, but see he threw back to back special ones right there. So he is super special happy, but overall war machine, not too hard. All right, so now we're moving on to Ronin. Ronin, again, this is an easy champ. You really don't have to worry too much about him. Um, both his, of his specials are easy to dodge. Just, you know, you want to keep some space in between them. Um, remember that his specials can stun you if you get clipped at the end. So be mindful of that. But overall, both his specials are easy to dodge. So you don't really have to worry too much about that. Um, overall, though, Ronin, not a hard fight on this path. The next one, though, is a little bit more tricky. And the trickiness, here we are with Juggernaut. This, I don't know which fight is worse, this or the Dormammu fight, because the Dormammu fight, you've got to worry about Degen. And with Juggernaut, you've got to worry about the Unstoppable. Now, Blade with Danger Sense will work great um, against this uh, Juggernaut, but you will have to bring in uh, Ghost Rider for it, so keep that in mind. Um, you definitely want to watch the unstoppable. So keeping him power drained is ideal. If you don't have that option, you can bring in She-Hulk, Spider-Gwen, or Cap Infinity War to counter the unstoppable. So now we're moving on to Gamora, and honestly, she's not a hard mob. Both her specials are really easy to dodge. This is, you know, just a pretty standard Gamora fight, just, you know, with baiting out more specials because of that power reserve. Now, Gwenpool is great for this because off her special two, she will enervate and keep them essentially power locked as long as they've got a bleed on. So 
Gwen pull for this fight again like Hawkeye are two really great options for this path if you have a Gwen pull and if you have a Hawkeye they're great options for this because of their um, power control abilities so keep that in mind when you're kind of scouting out the path and deciding who you should bring in and with power reserve you'll be able to get up to your special two to keep that enervate going no problem easy peasy now vision vision uh, he can be kind of tricky right you don't really have to worry about the cornered here um because you're not going to put any bleeds on him and you know he's bleeding poison immune so you're not going to have to worry about that the only thing you're going to want to have to play around is his synthesis now you're probably going to have to bait out one maybe two specials before you can start fully attacking so you got to keep that in mind and you don't want to play this OG vision too aggressive because of the synthesis. Now, this is probably a low sig OG vision because from his synthesis, he doesn't really get that much. I think he gets like a third of a bar of power. So you don't have to worry too much about that. Hawkeye though, again, great. Just keeping him power drained is always a good option. Now, normally you can run in and punish after his special one, but you wanna be careful of that, that he doesn't start chain throwing specials, just like the War Machine fight. So keep that in mind when you're going through this and you know trying to figure out you know who to bring in, that sort of thing. Now we're moving on to Mordo, and Mordo can be kind of tricky because you want to try to time your five hit combos around his power gain. You, the way, now watch what we do with Blade here. So he's about to get his power gain. We launch the special and boom, his power gain is gone. So you're definitely be, you know, dodging a lot of specials here. Uh, try not to get clipped with that special too. That's gonna be no bueno. You may eat one or more special threes. It all depends. Um, he does have power gain, or excuse me, he does have power reserve. So keep that in mind. Um, you don't want to play too patient. Um, just kind of, you know, don't play too aggressive. Be patient with it and let it come to you. Now, Winter Soldier with the Killmonger synergy is great here because it makes Winter Soldier hit like a mini Star-Lord. And also Killmonger would work well for that fight too because you can just consistently launch your special twos and you don't have to worry about taking damage for the special three as long as you don't get hit. So now we're moving on to Hood, and this is a pretty standard Hood fight. Just try to bait out those special ones. With Hood, once he starts throwing those special ones, he usually starts chain throwing them, so you don't have to worry too much about that. You don't wanna push him to his invisibility, um, makes him harder to hit, you will miss, and he can hit you in the face. So be mindful of that. But overall, Hood, not a hard champ to fight. Blade would work great against this as well. So now we're moving on to Phoenix, and Phoenix removes Mystic Ward from Black Panther Civil War. This is your pretty standard Phoenix fight. The only thing you gotta really be careful about is when she launches her special one, she will probably be back up to it again. So try pushing her to her special twos, that way she doesn't get another full bar of power. Both of her specials are pretty easy to dodge, so you don't have to worry about that. Just remember that when she gets down, to below one per or excuse me when she gets down to one percent she'll gain the right of the phoenix and this phoenix regenerates about 50 percent health so keep that in mind as you're playing this now overall phoenix she's not a hard champ to fight she's pretty much glass <laughs> so she doesn't have good block proficiency or anything like that so you'll be able to do a ton of damage pretty quick but that is it. That is all that we've got for 5.3.5 um, Force of Will. Let me know in the comments below, will you be downloading this map to scout out for your future run through it? Have you already run through it? Who did you use? What adjustments could I make to the spreadsheet? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.